my lens is on. I'm like, why is it so dark? Uh, okay, there we go. What do we think, Auntie Michelle? I'm thinking the Hoito has nothing on you, so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she did clang. I love his pancakes. Welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. I'm Allie. I'm Mama McManus. So as you may have noticed, today's episode, we're in a different location than normal. That is because we are on our annual family vacation to our family farm in Thunder Bay. Right, and we're uh, currently located in the Caministiqua area. And this farm uh, that we're on, and this beautiful old stove behind us is a wood-burning stove that Allie's great-grandmother would cook on. And so this farm was built by pioneers back in the 1900s. The land was cleared. We have about 600 acres of land and we're on a river and it's quite fun. So today when we're cooking, we're gonna play it by ear a little yeah. bit because we don't have everything that we typically would have at our kitchen back yeah. in Oakville. The recipe that we decided to share with you guys today is a family recipe that I am in love with that you made for us growing up and my grandfather made for us growing up and it's our Finnish pancakes so we call them Finn pancakes they're sort of like crepes and today we decided that we would try to veganize them and I'm using quotation marks around veganized because we are going to use eggs in this recipe so it will not be a completely vegan recipe today it will be vegetarian I guess but we do want to point out that we picked these eggs up from a local farm mm -hmm. where the chickens were actually free run eggs. It wasn't just free run eggs at the grocery store. These are eggs from a local farm where the chickens can roam free. They are fed healthy foods. They're not injected with anything. No hormones, nothing, no chemicals. Exactly. So we're going to show you guys how we make our family um, thin pancakes and we hope you guys enjoy. Start, you want to add two cups of flour into a bowl. So after you've added in the two cups of flour, you're going to want to add in two cups of almond milk. So the almond milk that we're using today is the Silk Almond Unsweetened Vanilla. Uh, that'll give the pancakes a little bit of flavor. After you've added in your almond milk, you're going to want to start to whisk it up a bit, just so you combine the milk and the flour together. And then after that, you want to add in your two free run eggs. As well, for this recipe, you don't need to use eggs if you don't want to. If you are completely vegan, obviously you don't have to use free run eggs at all. There are tons of egg substitutes online that you could look up, and I'm sure there's a bunch of vegan crepe egg substitutes that you can try out. So you're going to want to crack in your two eggs now. After you've cracked the two eggs into the batter, you want to whisk it in and make sure it's all well uh, combined. Now, one other thing that we should point out is that at home, I have a blender that I would be actually putting all of these ingredients into and blending it. But here at the farm, we don't have that, so we're using the whisk. <laughs> we're doing it old fashioned old style. Old fashioned style. Today. That's it. So after you've added in your two eggs, it's time to melt your vegan butter. We're gonna use Earth Balance butter, it's usually the butter that we use a lot. I'm gonna probably put four tablespoons in, melt it to make sure it's up to a quarter cup, and then add it into your batter. Again, we're eyeballing this because we don't have uh, measuring spoons here at the farm, which we have to buy in town. Yeah. Okay, I think that might be enough. Okay. Have a quarter cup of vegan butter melted, you're just going to want to add it into your mixture and then mix it together. So after you finish mixing in the butter to your flour and milk mixture, you're going to want to add a little bit of sugar. Now at home we have vanilla that we would add, but we'll just put about maybe a teaspoon in just to give them a little bit of the sweetness. After you've added the sugar in, then you're just going to continue to mix. And that is all you need for the Finn Pancakes mixtures. The other important thing too is that you can make the batter the night before. So it tastes even better the next day. So it can sit in the fridge. Again, we use the container of the blender so it yeah. makes it easier, but today we're You not could just that. cover it in saran wrap yeah. as well. Yeah. So basically you're gonna want to heat up a little bit of coconut oil in the pan and spread it all around. 
And then it's important when you're pouring the thin pancake mixture in that you cover the whole bottom of the pan so it spreads out, but you don't want to make them super thick because they are supposed to be thin. So for cooking the pancakes, you're going to want to cook them about one minute per side. You want them golden. Okay guys, so as you can see, that is how we make our finished pancakes here at the farm. We put berries on them today. Actually, usually we never put things on them. We kind of just have them playing with some real Canadian maple syrup and they are delicious that way. But you can also add fruit. You can put Nutella on them, peanut butter. You could even put probably like cheese on them. Even if you wanted to make it like more of a savory crepe. Or cinnamon. Cinnamon's kind of nice too. So just go with what you like and enjoy them. Yeah, so we're gonna try them out right now because we've never made them with vegan butter and almond milk before. Yeah. Close to Papa's recipe and grandfather's recipe. Yeah. They're really good. Mm. They taste like the ones at the Hoito. Mm. There's a restaurant here called the Hoito, which is like this very old Finnish restaurant. In fact, it's gonna be 100 years old next June. Yes. And 2018. these taste exactly like those. Oh, that looks so good. These are great. So please definitely try these out. They're amazing and they're one of our favorite family recipes that we yes. make often and we love. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you try this out without using eggs and you use an egg substitute, leave a comment down below and let right. us know how that turns out. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Give us a follow on Instagram if you want to see what we're doing. We often post things of what we're doing behind the scenes. It's at Allie Can Cook recently a photo that showed actually a farm fresh egg so an egg that we got from the farm compared to a store-bought uh, caged free egg and you can really see the difference in the size and it just makes you think like what are they putting in these eggs that make it so much bigger and well even the color with the yolk the, yeah the yolks are a lot oranger and they're a lot larger yeah. so that's why we definitely recommend if you're gonna have eggs to use a farm <laughs> option from your local farm yeah. if you're in the city I understand it's a bit harder and that's when you want to work in more egg substitutes but yeah, this is a really great alternative to regular pancakes, and we hope you guys enjoyed. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. I gotta, I gotta do one. I gotta be on the video? No, no. Thank you. Doesn't it taste like a hotel? Better than a hotel. It's really good, eh?